All right, and we're back. So we basically found. So we basically found out that. Uh... Wait. Oh, the game's not going to let me go this way. I literally have to go back around. Okay, cool. Thanks. So we found out that the Lord of Doors that's currently in power most likely is the corrupt one. And if it is indeed the corrupt one, then we're looking into. What's this way? Oh, cool. So if it's the corrupt Lord of Doors, or the door Lord of Doors is corrupt, the one that's currently in power, it calls into question uh, if the successors themselves are created, or if they're uh, if they're created by the previous Lord of Doors, or if they're molded by a higher power kind of thing. What do we got here? Found some kind of signed contract. How exciting! So we have a contract to something. Not sure what it could be, but it's definitely to something. He even said so. Hmm. Yep. All right, so I want to go back up this way. Because I want to go find out what's behind that door that had the key on it. that. I've also got another game lined up once I'm done with this one. But that one most likely will take a little bit longer to go through. Uh, huh. Okay. I'm not sure what to do here. I literally know, have no idea what to do here to not get hit by the laser. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, never mind. I figured it out. <laughs> Just in time. Damn it. Okay, so I do have to go the way they want me to. Do. I can't cheese it as much as I want to. And I'm going too fast for my own good. Now I do have to go fast. Okay. And over. Like, if you're gonna give me an instant traverse button, slow puzzles are the bane of my existence then, because I don't have patience for that. Like, I'm sorry, I don't. I have zero patience for any of that kind of stuff. Alright. The last embrasure. Is the door finally open? Hey, the lock is open. And it's an elevator. Ah, who could have saw that coming? Alright. Now see, I can talk to this Lord too. This is the first one, I think, right? Spirit of Lord Theodore, sweet child, look at what happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death and teaches them the lord's path. So, that answers the question from before. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something that had no business in. If opportunity presents itself, child, ending this cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach it on their own. So effectively what he's telling us is that the system, based on his definition, was doomed to fail from the start. Which, if you think about it, makes sense, considering that the way the story is built up, those things just fell to their death. Uh was effectively like a game of, a, a cosmic game of telephone between it beings. Effectively, the generation that comes before teaches the gener- or sorry, the generation that came after ge teaches the- The last generation teaches the next generation. Let me try that again, shall I? Here, hold on. What do you got for me, Barb? Hey, you got that old elevator working. Perfect timing, too. I just finished the next chapter of my song. You'll be wanting to hear it, I imagine. No. No worries, maybe some other time. Nah. Something tells me you're dying. Probably not. 
could probably live on like Pothead. But it'll never be as cool as Pothead. It'll never be as cool as Sigvard of Katharina. Alright. Finally out of the uh the temple. What's the sign saying? To our camp. Alright, that's intriguing. It's also intriguing because I don't want to do that yet, but I guess I'm kind of forced to. That was the entrance we came in, right? Like, way back in the beginning. You're not good. You're a bad guy. Goodbye. This way to our camp as I fucking killed the guy who's being lookout. Go ahead and pick up that soul. Alright, so there is nothing over here. Worth a shot. Whee! You also figure, have we developed the point with these crows that they no longer have the ability to fly? Like, they've effectively turned their feathers into a form of appendage. That works similar to hands, but, you know less effective. Oh my god, I am stupid. <laughs> Let's try that again. And for that matter, the crows that currently exist in the spirit world, were they original crows that were basically transformed through the power of the Lord of Doors? All the successions that came before it, basically creating their own form of not really slave labor, but like obedient labor? Are you telling me that effectively the purpose of the crow was that it was just a mindless beast, but then was given purpose through another creator's uh, design? It would be an interesting concept if that was true. Uh oh. The camp's here, but no one else's. I wonder if we have a bird here. Are we gonna have a crow? See, now we got... Okay, so we got bird... Uh, bird houses. So wouldn't it be something if we find more birds? And we found another door, so... That's a thing. Yeah, son of a bitch. Hey, how's it going, Vaga? Welcome to the camp of free crows, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually. Even if you needed a bit of guidance along the way. You couldn't have just fucking sent, like, a telegram or, like, found my way here to begin with. group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of Doors. We do not want unnatural immortality if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is the point in living forever if it's to be as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb ever higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. So it is essentially what we were talking about. Who are you? Rook. Welcome, foretold crow. We live as a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. We even use fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. Yeah. Foretold crow, it is an honor to meet you. Did you find any of our shrines on your journey? It seems there are still 11 shrines you have yet to find. I'm sure they will help you on your journey and in the fight with the beast atop the mountain. See... Here's the thing, right? If you're gonna give me the shrines, you could just give me a map. Like, is there purpose in being secret about it? Or could you just tell me where they are? We all abandoned our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we are happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. Greetings, foretold crow. This is the gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things and its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. It foretold your arrival and your destiny. See, that... Now that sounds very cultish. Yeah, this thing that no one else can hear but us has told me that you were coming, and the only reason why I think it's you is because someone else already said the name foretold crow. 
What if I'm not the foretold crow? What if I'm just a crow? What if I'm the one to bring in the, like, era of darkness? I mean, shit, based on what I'm hearing from the Lord of Doors and whatnot, it's gonna be my job to quote-unquote end the cycle, so it's like... I don't know if that considers me to be a good guy or a bad guy in all things. Frozen Canyon. Okay, so we don't want to go that way just yet. At least I don't think we want to go that way just yet. Oh, hey, it's Barb. Phew. It's, uh, it's quite a steep climb getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as punch, though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up here on the mountains? Who knew? And they have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beast on top of the mountain. Yeah, I am getting so much inspiration on our adventure, I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written, and I've written more than five. Well, honestly, when you think about it, you gotta give him credit for that. Just in the fact that he's actually putting in the effort to continue to improve himself. Beast Lair via the old watchtowers. Okay, so this, that is where we have to go, which means we're not going that way. Not yet, at the very least. But you gotta give the barb, you know, some kind of credit for the fact that he's willing to improve himself all the time. Let me just try something. Okay. Like, not even joking. He is literally willing to improve himself. Which is nice to see. Time to test something. Alright, that works. Alright. Okay, so I can't hit anything. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not bad. So we're through that. That opens that. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't really give me that much time to do this. So... I need to do this right. Speedrun strats. Nope. Well... Terrible time saves. Never mind, we did it. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, way. Guess what? There's only ten more shrines to find. Ancient shrine, or it's be a shard of vitality. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, only ten more of those damn things to find. Well, at least I got through that one. Something tells me that one's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. That's the thing I've never understood about these kind of games, you know? Like, we have to be mysterious. Why? Why do you have to be mysterious? I understand that it's for good storytelling and whatnot, but it's like... If I'm supposed to be the... Oh, damn it, I want to go back down now. No, 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 I want to go back down. But, like, I understand that if I'm supposed to be, like, the hero of legend, the hero of light, or however you want to call it... Isn't there, you know, some kind of credence to letting me know... What the hell your weirdly obscure references are supposed to be making? Found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. Fuck yeah, I am. I'm a real winner. I'm a real human being. Like, I've seen other games and stories talk about the fact that the reason they have to be mysterious is because they have to basically speak in code and pray that somebody figures out what the hell they're actually talking about. But that's because, like, the ultimate evil can listen to them on their conversations and whatnot. Okay. I don't know if... Okay, so that literally did nothing. Alright, so never mind. This might be something for later. I wonder if I'm just gonna go straight into the boss fight. Which, if I do, that'd be kind of weird. You know? All things considered. All right. What else?
else is up here. Yeah, see, it lights, but it doesn't actually light. So something tells me I gotta get to the top of the tower and then go through this again. Or find out some way to make it stop raining slash snowing or whatever the hell it's doing. But that'll be something for another day. And bam. Out of here. No, 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 no. Illegal. Oh damn, I can grab on enemies? Yo, hold on, this thing just became a lot better. Yo, this might be my new favorite weapon. I'm sorry. You're telling me I can grab on enemies? One. Yo, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I am a big fan of this weapon now, or this ability, I should say. Can't actually go through there. So that, okay, so yeah, yeah, I have to light. Once I'm through this whole thing with the fire, or once I can turn off the freaking. here so I can fight you with the laser because I don't feel like hurting you. Yeah. Alright, good. I don't know why I'm so happy that worked the way it did. And it kind of prefaced the fact that I wanted to use the laser, so it's like... There really was no point to me doing that, but I kind of wanted to anyway, you know? actually over here besides the fire, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. You know, due to the fact that we can't actually keep the things lit right now. I'll come back and figure out that puzzle later. There's a lot of puzzles I have to figure out in this game. Also, Barb? Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still, a bit of bad weather has never deterred me before, especially with the beast so close. Now, I wonder what it looks like. Based on what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild. I can't wait to see you fight it. I... Why does it feel like I'm being set up for the fact that Barb's gonna be, like, the bad guy? You know? Like, I'm sorry, but it feels like he's going to be the evil one. That up. Thank you very much. Because, like, not for nothing. And I appreciate the characters and whatnot, but it's like, Barb was never really introduced to us. Barb just kind of showed up, and we just accepted the fact that he was here with us. <laughs> By the way, it turns out that I'm the, uh, it turns out I'm the Lord of Doors' son. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they did something like that. Give me the seed. God, this hook shot is so good. Did you expect to have a fair 
fight now. Oh, that wizard got murked. Damn it. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. I love this ability now. It allows me to be so fast and reckless. It's gonna cause so many deaths. <laughs> gonna skip past a large section of this bullshit, which is great. God, that is so... like... It feels so good to do any of that. Like, it's kind of ridiculous how well that feels to play. <laughs> we were setting ourselves up for this ability and this ability alone. Honestly, with the way I've been playing. Oh my god. Yeah, I go the nice slow way. No, I won't. That's a lie. Oh, damn it. Did I just screw myself up? I did. Okay. Well, let's fix that. Really glad I was able to be smart enough to like turn on the shortcuts and whatnot. Alright, uh, okay. But yeah, we'll have to go back through this again. And hopefully, when we kill the beast at the top of the mountain, this will stop being. This will not be snowing anymore. We're gonna we're gonna utilize this ability a lot to kill enemies that are sliding around. Yeah, we're gonna do that a lot. Oh my god. I don't know how many times I can use that to kill an enemy. I mean I don't think I can do it all the time. But I can do it enough. Wizard, where are you? Hell out of here. Hell out of here, you wizard magic man. We're gonna be casting magic in my world? My god, it's so. Oh. It feels so good. I would, I would play a game that's just this. Like, give me the ability to have a hook shot like this while playing. Maybe that's the reason why I like Doom so much. You get the fucking double barrel shotgun that allows you to do that shit. Oh my god, the super shotgun, sorry. Can't even call it the double barrel because that's just not giving it the right service. Ah, oh, it feels so good. What do we got here? This is an arena? This feels arena.
hoping I could do that in the air. little worried there for a second. Thought I might have messed that up. But I think this is the final arena before we get to the top top. Which would be nice to see. Please. 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 Okay, good. So I'm planting the seed here. Assuming the seed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I was a little worried there. I was going to have to restart. Anyway, my name has been Uncle Steve. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.